See the wavelength, the de Broglie wavelength is given as lambda is equal to 1.227 over under root V nanometer. Now see we will use this formula to plot the value of the de Broglie wavelength as it varies with the potential difference. So say this is V over here and this is the wavelength lambda. Since this variation can be written as this is proportional to 1 over square root of V. So we will have a graph which falls like this because as V increases lambda will decrease and for small values of V we have a large value of lambda. Now, uh, maybe you need to go back and revise and see how do you get this formula. See if you recall the de Broglie wavelength lambda is equal to h by p where h is the Planck's constant and p is the momentum which is equal to h over mv. Now this can further be written as h over root 2mk where k is the kinetic energy of the electron. Now, see over here it is given in the question that the, uh, the electron is accelerated through a potential difference of V volts. So, the energy acquired by the electron is E times V, the potential difference. And this energy is equal to the kinetic energy of the electron. So, plugging in this value over here, we get the de Broglie wavelength equals h over root 2 m e v. Now Planck's constant, mass of the electron, charge of the electron are all constants. So putting in these values, you will get this value which you get over here as the value for lambda.